Hey what's up it's Hugo here and probably nowadays the most used music player and music manager out there is Apple's iTunes not only on Mac computers but also on uh, Windows computers it has been used a lot and if you've been an iTunes user for quite a while um, you may have noticed that upon the versions it became slower and slower especially on startup uh, nowadays if you just want to quickly listen to a song on iTunes quickly open it and listen to a song you'll notice that it takes quite a while to start the application and actually start playing uh, and especially if you do not have the latest Mac this can be quite annoying because the application itself is quite demanding and uh, you know you don't want to uh, waste half of your computer's power just to listen to music if you don't have the most recent Mac so uh, I've found out about this little application here called Ikut and uh, it recently got quite a big update uh, so I just wanted to quickly talk about it because uh, uh, I actually start using it and uh, I, I quite liked it so that's why I wanted to mention it. Uh, it's As you can see it was totally turned off the application. I clicked it, it instantly opens and I'm running this on a MacBook from 2008 so it's not the most recent computer either but uh, it instantly opens. It's a really lightweight program. It's about 4 megabytes or 3.5 megabytes on your hard drive so it really opens up lightning fast and the cool thing about this is that it automatically takes all your music you had on your iTunes so if you managed all your music on iTunes if you put lyrics uh, ratings and all that stuff automatically gets transferred to Ikut so that's a pretty nifty trick they added there you don't need to uh, spend hours again to manage everything again uh, so once you open it up you have of course all the artists uh, you can also sort it by albums composers all that stuff you also have on iTunes uh, so for example I want albums uh, you have all the albums you can see how much tracks there are inside the ratings uh, the artists pretty simple uh, but yeah you can also uh, of course shuffle and repeat all and all that stuff kind of the standard controls you can also look for songs so uh, for example I'm gonna look quickly for a song it's automatically going to start playing. Uh, if you have Grow, it will also notify you. At the moment, you do not hear the music. It's because uh, I don't want to have any problems with the copyright uh, copyrights issue, so you won't hear the music. But um, once you start playing a song, it will automatically pop up this little bottom bar where you kind of have the basic information of the song. So you basic controls, play next, uh, ratings, music, and you can scrub here through the song. You can also uh, hit YouTube, that's a little trick they've added. It automatically is going to look for clips or music videos on YouTube and you can uh, play it uh, right from here. So that's pretty cool. It will it will open in your browser though, but it will automatically stop the music and do that kind of stuff uh, automatically. Um, so that's pretty cool. You also have the lyrics. So obviously in this song there's nobody talking, so you won't hear any lyrics. You won't see any lyrics. Um, but just to show you that the lyrics are working. I'm just gonna look uh, up a song that I really like from Eminem's recent album. And uh, right here I have the lyrics of this song. So if I click on lyrics right now, uh, as you can see all the lyrics pop up. Uh, so you can just scroll through the lyrics and uh, the lyrics work, uh, works great. It will not automatically generate the lyrics for you uh, though. Uh, that's just, you have to enter them manually in iTunes. Although if you have applications such as Song Genie, uh, those applications can automatically insert uh, lyrics for you so uh, that can be pretty cool if you're interested in lyrics to be honest I never wa see I never look at the lyrics but uh, you can of course also hide this little bar here at the bottom to make it look a little more minim minimalistic and uh, that's it about for the application to be honest uh, there's not much more about it the cool thing is just that it's really fast and uh, pretty powerful um, so yep I'm just gonna pause the music quickly. Um, there you go. So another little feature they've added. That's a little extra. You can uh, theme it for yourself. So here's the website of Ikut. Oops, sorry about that. Let me just make it a little smaller. Um, this is the website. I'll leave the website in the description. And uh, they've got a little theme center. By the way, I'm running the trial at the moment. It's uh, 15 days. But uh, if you uh uninstall it completely with app delete or app zapper and download it again you can do that although if you really like the application I definitely recommend um, buying it it's about ten dollars so it's not that expensive but uh, about the themes you can build your own theme so it's gonna give you uh, a little template or you can just download themes there's much more than this but uh, you'll just have to google that or uh, if you want they have a lot of themes for Ikut on uh, 
on the Mac Themes forum. Right here, MacThemes.net, and then you go to forums. I'll probably leave this in the description, and then you just look for a tab where it says Ikuts. For right, right here, for example, Baudi Ikut Vinyl Micro. So apparently that's the theme. It will give you a little example, and then that works. You can put that in Ikut or in Bounty or ba Bowtie. Sorry, I always pronounce that wrong, but uh, that's it for this video. If you have any requests for reviews and uh, other things you would like, to see like application just comment down below what kind of applications you're looking for um, and uh, I'll try to do my best and find that out for you guys thank you a lot for watching and I'll see you guys later